How's it going guys? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. My name is Viper and welcome to the channel. Now have I got an absolutely crazy story for you guys today. I got up this morning, came onto the YouTube and I came across an absolutely bonkers story about a village in Peru having a conflict with extraterrestrials. That's what the head villager said. So the head of the village, he came out saying that they've been having conflicts with the extraterrestrials now these they call these extraterrestrials pele calas which is face peelers in spanish now i don't speak spanish i probably butchered the pronunciation of that but as you can see here i'm over on google earth and san antonio region to zoom out here and as you can see i'm in the northeastern part of peru now as you can see this tributary of the river here in been here and around this area here of San Antonio there's been reports coming out about a village in conflict with extraterrestrials now they have a myth in that area about Pella Calas now that's face peelers in Spanish now I don't speak Spanish so I'm sorry if I actually absolutely butchered that pronunciation and in this area there's been reports of these Pellas Calas for quite a few years now this is a myth so it's, it's been going on for quite a while where people have been abducted and then when they've been found later on they've been had all the face peeled away from their sorry all the skin peeled away from their face so there's nothing left it is a like you see cow mutilations and cattle mutilations revealing abductions it is exactly like that but with a human being hence why they got the name face peelers now i do have footage of this which I will be showing at the end of this video because for obviously graphical reasons. But the main story is that has been coming out of this area is that a few weeks ago, they, the Pelicalas, that is, tried to abduct a 15 year old girl. And whilst they were in the process of abducting this 15 year old girl, somehow she managed to escape. Now, when she escaped, she managed to get some deep lacerations on her neck and it's bleeding quite profusely. Now, when this has happened, the villagers have gone up in arms and they are firing shotguns and rifles at the people that they say they see. Now, they say that they are seven-foot, barbous-headed beings that hover or levitate about one foot off the floor and the shoes that they wear have a little red light in the back. Now, they were shooting at these beings and the head of the village, so the village elder, had turned around and said to the people interviewing that they were hovering, they had led lights. I'll show you in the video when this happens. And you also see footage of them trying to, well, I'll say trying to. Apparently there was reports that they did hit a few, but they were in like some sort of armoured suit. And because of said suit, none of the extraterrestrials were actually killed. So as you can see here, last little time before we get into the video, Peru, South America, and it's just off this tributary here of the river. And it's around this area here that this news footage has come from. So we'll get straight into the video now and let you see guys see for yourself all the stuff that's going on over there. Now here we are with the video, as you can see, they're all out there trying to find something. Gunshots. So they are shooting at something. Se trata de habitantes de la tribu Iquitu del distrito. For those of you who speak Spanish out there, please go down into the comments and put down what they're saying. If you will so kindly do so. Thank you very much. Now here's the village elder. Now he's explaining something in the bushes and he goes on to explain that they were hovering off the ground. Now just yet, it goes back to him, just give it a second. Han denunciado que vienen siendo agredidos por un grupo de seres extraños que los acecha durante las noches. Now he goes there. About a foot off the ground, and there's a little red light on the back of the shoe. And some sort of mask on. Now this is the 15 year old girl that I tried to abduct. Now as you can see she's got some markings on her neck there but if you look in a minute. 
Afirman que la joven fue tomada por la espalda. Le taparon la boca y cuando ella opuso resistencia, blood on the neck. en el cuello con la blanca. Obviously, it's blurred for YouTube, but there was red there, so there's obviously some sort of cut. Well, you can see something's happened. The villagers are up in arms, like they're out there actively shooting something. And as you can see there, the investigators. So, anybody who speaks Spanish or anything, please go down into the comments and put down what they're saying if you can, if you can understand them. That would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, it's all going on in Peru at the minute. Now, I'll just let this play out before I get into the backstory a little bit about the Pele Calas. So, I'll just allow that to play in the background there while. I'll tell you a little bit about the backstory of the Pele Calas. Now, in the area, like I said before, there is a myth of the Pele Calas, which means face peeler. Now, this really being a myth has obviously been going on for many, many, many years. Now, the next video, which I'm about to show, is of what apparently the Pele Calas do, which is a human mutilation. Now, warning, this is graphic. And if you've seen any cat mutilation videos, where the cow is missing half of her face and it's down to the bone that is what you are about to see right now in this video so if you are squeamish please look away or turn the video off right here but it is pretty graphic now the video is a person filming the video that someone made on their phone and it is some police officers carrying the well investigating the body it's, it's pretty graphic i'll tell you now this is a graphic warning so let's dive into this and you can leave your little comments down there what you think about it yourselves So now here we are watching the video, and as you can see, somebody's recorded it on their phone live, and somebody's recording it off the phone that the person recorded it themselves. So they're there removing the banana leaves. And if you just give it a minute now, you'll see. And as you can see there, pretty bad. It's a bit more clear in a second. So as you can see there, police investigators. The body's obviously in rigor mortis or something. And look at that. It has been stripped to the bone. There is no blood. Stripped to the bone. Just like how with cattle mutilations. So pretty brutal, isn't it, guys? You know what I mean? I don't know of anything that could do that. Like, no, nothing I can think of could actually do that. To remove all the blood, so only the bone is there. And as you can see by how it's cut, like, right in a circle from the neck up, and you see how the spine articulates and moves when they pick the body up. If that's a dummy, it's a really, 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 really good dummy. <laughs> a really good dummy. But as you can see, there's police investigators there. The face is gone. It's all gone. And as you can see by the cut on the neck and how the spine articulates and moves, there's... piranhas haven't done that, put it that way, because why would it only be localised in the face area and not all of the body? So, yeah, a bit of a bizarre bit of incidents going on in Peru right now and with the UFO recently in Vegas as well a little bit of madness going on over in the UFO and extraterrestrial sphere at the minute but as you can see by this video it is absolutely absolutely brutal like he's actually been peeled all the way back to the bone like it, when you see that on cattle mutilations you think wow that's amazing but on a person so that's the first time I've ever seen that and for them to have the name Pele Calas for face peeler and it being a myth all around that area. So this has been going on for years. So yeah, pr pretty pretty, pretty horrific injuries there to that person. Well then guys, what do you think? Do you think it's a mannequin? Do you think it's all staged? If it was all staged, then why are the police there investigating it? And with the incident with the girl, the 15 year old. Like I said, I've seen all this this morning. I thought, oh, I did a lot of post about this. Keep you guys posted about it. And if I find out anything else new in the next few coming days i'll keep you guys posted uh, if you're down in the comments and you understand the spanish then please put down 
parts that I do not understand myself because like I said I am not a Spanish speaker and thanks for coming along and watching the video. I know it's a bit a bit graphic and a bit of a change to the normal videos that I do but I really do appreciate the fact that you came along and watched the video. Uh, if you did like it please go down there smash that like button helps me out hell of a lot here out of the channel and such a small thing on your end is a massive one here for me and again thanks for coming along and watching the video and now with all that being said i shall leave you all with what i say on the end of every single one of my videos which is i shall see you all on the battlefield and eyes up guardian this is viper signing out <laughs>